the best gold on this creek is in the water. This is awesome. I just moved all these big rocks out of this little zone right here. I just found a really nice one sitting right behind this rock here. Good morning or good afternoon everyone. Welcome, if you're new here, my name is Paula, your weird host. So my plan of attack today is to get in the wetsuit and go underwater because it is so hot today. It's about 30 degrees, which translates to about 2000 Fahrenheit. <laughs> the water is really low today, which means I can get to the deeper spots, but it also means it's gonna be very, very murky. But also I found the best gold on this creek is in the water. Anyways, that's enough wasting time. Let's get in the wetsuit and see if we can find some candy. All right, now where should I begin? Okay, so I just jumped in right here. I can see bedrock right there and bedrock right there. So I know there's gonna be a gully. So I just did a cut right in here to see what I find. And I found a heavy piece of ironstone. This isn't gold, but I mean, it's just, it lets you know that the heavies are dropping. So I just kept fanning and I found our first little piece right down there. So for the first little while, it might be a little bit hard to see because of the reflection from the sun, but it will get better. Oh, yes. <laughs> that was awesome. I love getting that kind of stuff on tape. We just found a little nugget. And because of refraction, everything looks bigger underwater. Yes, I have tweezers. Not a nugget, but a little picker. Cool. It's so hot out, I don't even need gloves. But I'm noticing I'm starting to cut my hand, so I might put them on in a little bit. Uh, I'm seeing a lot of gold down there, so what I'm gonna do is just spend some time cleaning this whole area out so that I don't keep running into the problem where dirt is falling back into the hole. I got a lot of work to do, but uh, it will be worth it. So this is probably the most physically taxing thing you will do when you're sniping for gold. Also the easiest way to make a mess. I would just like to point out that there are plenty more crevices than there is gold, if that makes sense. So there's not always going to be gold in a good looking crevice, but it's always worth cleaning it out just in case. So I just went down as deep as I could go and there was absolutely no gold. So I want to move up this way and see if I can find anything up top. So what I'm doing right here is moving all the overburden in front of me down below me where I've already cleaned out. It makes it so much easier to move ahead when doing that. I tried. <laughs> that is awesome. Another nugget. So somebody either went down here and cleaned it out or the gold just hasn't traveled that far yet and I'm finding it right meow. <laughs> that piece won't fit up the snuffer. A good sign that there's gold around. This is awesome. I just moved all these big rocks out of this little zone right here and I'm already seeing some more pieces of gold. Now, all the big rocks that I'm taking out, I'm trying to fill in a line right here to try to increase this water pressure so it can help me move most of this 
stuff out of the way. It's a good sign when you find rocks that are stuck in crevices like this. It typically means that it was not cleaned out yet, at least in a long time. Oh, it's been about 20 minutes and I've gotten from down there all the way up here. And I just found another piece of gold, finally. <laughs> it's not a bad looking piece either. That stuck in the straw too. Oh, it's actually stuck in the straw. Uh oh, there we go. like that long but it's already been a few hours. I cleaned out the spot to the best of my ability. I think it's time I put on my gloves and float on downstream. rock here. Alright, biggest nugget of the day so far. Let's continue. It's really murky right at the bottom of this crack here, so I'm gonna spend some time clearing all this out of the way, and then I'm just gonna start blowing it and hopefully find more. Now, because gold is heavy, every time you fan it like this, it will sink deeper and deeper. So you just have to go slow. And sometimes you don't have to do any work at all to find it. And other times you put in a tiny bit of effort to get a lot in return. I don't care how long this takes, I am getting it all. Not bad. Nice. I can see some yellow from up top here. Is it gold? <laughs> we'll see. Okay, so I want to call it the end of the day, but it's still light out and I'm a little bit hungry, but I'm not bad. So I'm just going to call it a little break. We are actually doing really well. I'm just going to dump out the gold and show you what we're looking at. 
See if I can do this with one hand. Oh, yes. <laughs> yes, that is so good. Oh my goodness. Yes, we're looking good. We're looking really good, guys. That's good candy. So I have a choice to make. I can either go way upstream or go way downstream and there's actually no right or wrong answer. It's just, as long as you're in the water and you're moving material and you're just following the bedrock, your chances are just as good as, uh, just pretend I said something really relevant and it made your life better. All right, that was a long enough break. Time to get back in and see if we can add to the candy count. So, I, so I'm at the very edge of the river and I can see this little crack that runs along this the side here. So I'm just gonna clean this out and then after this, I'll probably call it a day. It's all good looking material. Again, I know it's kind of bright and hard to see, but it is very shallow here and I'm doing my best. It's so shallow, it's really hard to film. It's really hard to work here. But I am finding a lot of little pieces of gold, so it's, it's worth it, but I am getting exhausted. All right, that is it for me. Let's see back at the house. Okay, so before I show you the gold, I just want to announce that I have some new merch available in the store, which includes all kid sizes, a new batch of stickers, and also some vehicle decals, which inevitably means that your car will go faster. Now, here's the gold that we found at Nature's Candy Store. I am super happy with this. It's not every day you get to ride a pony through the city of Atlantis wielding a flaming sword with your shirt off, or in this case, find this kind of gold in the river. So let's begin by weighing our biggest piece. Five ounces, obviously. 1.34 grams, and for the rest, four point two five grams. So four point two five grams is probably only enough to buy like a Lamborghini or something silly, but nothing really. That is it for this video. If you enjoyed it, please let me know by leaving a like or commenting on the video. And if you like what you see, I have plenty more on my social media and other videos that I've previously posted. Now, my arm is getting tired and I'm getting really hot in this weather, so it's time for me to jump back in the water so I can cool off. Thank you for watching. Thank you so much for your support. And until the next one, black screen with logo. Oh, that hurt way more than I thought it would.